Hello. For today's episode of Storytime with Jen, we're going to be reading The Little Ballerina. Story by Sue Harris, pictures by Patricia McCarthy. Rosie loved ballet. Every weekend she put on her pink tutu and her soft satin slippers and bundled her hair into a neat little bun. Then she was ready to dance. There was just one problem. Rosie was so clumsy that she always fell over her feet. You're more like a clown than a ballerina, her classmates teased. At the end of each class, Rosie went home and looked at her poster of famous ballerinas. I wish I was a prima ballerina, she thought. Poster. Favorite ballerina, ballets, and her prima ballerinas. One week, Rosie had a really bad lesson. She tripped and tumbled her way through class, blushing as her classmates once again called her a clumsy clown. But after class, something cheered Rosie up. Her teacher, Miss Dainty, handed each classmate an envelope. The Nutcracker. The Dainty School of Dance is proud to announce a performance of the Nutcracker. I will be, I will audition for all parts, including Clara next weekend. All ballerinas are invited to audition on Saturday at 9 a.m. sharp. Make sure you practice this week. Love, Miss Dainty. Rosie felt a flutter of excitement as she read the letter. Here was her chance to be a prima ballerina. She would practice every day and be the best dancer at the at the auditions on the way home from ballet rosie borrowed a copy of the nutcracker from the library settling down in her bedroom she was soon absorbed in the story clara's adventures sounded very exciting the story of the nutcracker it's christmas eve and at the stallbaum house a party is being held Children, Clara and Fritz, are very excited when their godfather, clock and toy maker Drosselmeyer, arrives with gifts. Clara's gift of a beautiful nutcracker is a hit of the party, and Fritz is very jealous. Young Fritz seizes the nutcracker and promptly breaks it. Poor Clara is inconsolable, but in a flash, Drosselmeyer has repaired the nutcracker and Clara is smiling again. At the end of the evening, after the guests have departed and the house is quiet once more, Clara sneaks back downstairs and falls asleep with the nutcracker in her arms. As the clock strikes midnight, something peculiar happens. Clara finds herself shrinking, and soon the Christmas tree towers high above her. All around the room, toys are coming to life, and Clara is terrified to see that a mouse army has appeared, led by the mouse king himself. The Nutcracker leads the toys into battle against the Mouse Army. Soon they are overwhelmed and captured. Clara cannot bear to see her beloved Nutcracker hurt by the Mouse King. And in desperation, she hurls her slipper at the Mouse King, knocking him to the ground. The Mouse Army retreats, carrying their lifeless leader with them. Clara's brave act and her love for the Nutcracker lifts a spell and he is transformed into a handsome prince. He takes Clara on a magical journey to the land of snow, where dancing snowflakes are waiting to greet them. The prince escorts Clara to the land of sweets where, the, where she meets the sugar plum fairy. When she hears about the Mouse King's defeat, the sugar plum fairy rewards their bravery with a succession of beautiful dances. Clara wakes from her dream and finds herself back in the family sitting room with her beloved Nutcracker in her arms. Rosie really wanted to play Clara, so she practiced hard all week. At the audition, Rosie was dancing well, but then disaster struck. She tripped and landed with a loud thud at Miss Dainty's feet. Rosie wasn't surprised when Stacy was given the part of Clara. Rosie was to play the smallest mouse. As she slowly walked home, Rosie started to cry. That week, Rosie spent every spare moment practicing. She was determined to dance well, even if her part was tiny. But the first rehearsal was worse than the audition. Rosie missed her cue, and as she hurried into position, 
she bumped into Stacy, who hissed, Watch out, clumsy! Poor Rosie felt her confidence fade away. It's time to get some proper advice, thought Rosie. I'll write to the sugar plum fairy. Maybe she can teach me how to be graceful. Dear Sugar Plum Fairy, my name is Rosie and I'm hoping you can help me. I really want to be a brilliant ballerina, but I'm so clumsy. Everyone in my ballet class laughs at me because I'm always tripping. How can I be more graceful? Please help. Love, Rosie. The next day, Rosie was very excited. The Sugar Plum Fairy had replied to her letter. Dear Rosie, thanks for your letter. Sorry that you're having problems with your ballet dancing. You must have confidence and believe in yourself. If you do this, I've no doubt that one day you'll be a brilliant ballerina. Love, the Sugar Plum Fairy. P.S. Make sure you practice lots this week. Rosie followed her advice and practiced all week. Miss Dainty was delighted with Rosie's progress. But secretly, Rosie was bored with her little mouse dance. She started to practice Stacy's steps, and soon she perfected those too. On the morning of the dress rehearsal, Rosie woke to find another letter from the Sugar Plum Fairy on her pillow. Good morning, Rosie. I hope you are ready for today's dress re rehearsal. There are five important things you need to remember. Practice, patience, grace, poise, and confidence. You have mastered them all, and today you'll get your chance to shine. So be prepared. Love, the Sugar Plum Fairy. When Rosie went to a rehearsal, she saw Miss Dainty looking worried. I've just had a letter from Stacy. She's hurt her leg and won't be able to dance the part of Clara. Dear Miss Dainty, I'm really sorry, but I have some bad news. I've broken my leg. I'm very disappointed I can't perform, but there is someone who could take my place. Rosie has been practicing my steps and trying really hard. Maybe she could play Clara instead? Please give her a chance. I know she won't let you down. Love, Stacy. She's hurt her leg and won't be able to dance the part of Clara. I can do it, said Rosie shyly. Miss Dainty smiled, and that's just what Stacy said. Are you sure you know all the steps? Rosie nodded. Here was her big chance. Well, we'd better get a new program printed with your name on it, said Miss Dainty with a laugh. The Nutcracker. The Dainty School of Dance is delighted to present the Nutcracker, featuring Miss Rosie Day as Clara. On the night of the show, when Rosie saw the audience, she suddenly felt very nervous. But as she started to dance, her confidence soared. The performance whizzed by in a blur. And at the end, the audience burst into applause. As Rosie curtsied to the cheering crowd, she smiled. At last, she was a brilliant ballerina. The end. That's it for today's episode of Storytime with Jen. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we will see you tomorrow.